Good morning. Utopia Election Commission has announced the 20th general election that we will have on 15 January 2020. Utopia Election Commission, UEC, has held a special meeting in this regard and decided that the 20th general election will be held on Friday, 15 January 2021. Voters can check through the voter register to find out the information about their polling center through the UEC website, www.uec.gov.my, or through the My UEC chat application starting 2 January 2021. I hope all citizens to go out to vote on the voting date to avoid any disease patients in the election area. We end our news with a short video of manifesto from each party that will be complete for the 20 general election. Just the best leader for a better future of Utopia. Have a nice day and thank you. Voting process Voters must be the citizens of Utopia and not less than 21 years old. Votes are secret. Voters can only oppose one candidate by marking an X next to the name of the chosen candidate. After marking the ballot paper, the voters have to fold it according to the line on the ballot paper and then put it in the ballot box provided. Vote counting process First of all, the head of the voting station will open the ballot box to begin the counting process. Manual counting of votes will be done to find out how many ballot paper are in the ballot box. The ballot papers will be calculated in tens and tied with a rubber band. After that, an officer will announce the party candidates chosen by the voter, one vote by one vote. Voter have to mark properly if not, the vote will not be counted. After done counting all the votes, the election commissioner will announce the winner of the election. I, as the chairman of the Utopia Election Commission, UEC, will now announce the official results of the 20 Utopia general elections. A total of 222 parliamentary seats were contested in these elections. In the first place, the victory of 100 seats is Aloysia, led by Chancery City Aisha, Binti Abdul In second place, the victory of seats is Watan Burjasa, led by Dato Sri Izazafira, Binti Sokafi. In third place, with a victory of 22 seats, is Lion Power led by Wan Sri Nuri Kistina Binti Abruwa. In third place, with a victory of 18 seats, is Phoenix Ace led by Dato Dr. Nuru Farhani Binti Ismail. In the fifth place, with a victory of 13 seats, is Koyani led by Tan Sri Dr. Putri Intan Abasha Binti Kaidi. I congratulate the party that won the 20 Utopia generations on behalf of the UEC that is elected to be able to lead our country towards a brighter future. Before concluding the ceremony, I would like to thank the media and photographers who have patiently waited for their full results. Have a nice day and thank you. I shall therefore appoint Tan Sri Aisha to be the Prime Minister.
Article 43 Clause 2 of the Federal Tarabitya requires the Prime Minister to be a member of the House of Representatives and other Cabinet Ministers should belong to either House. In this context, Parliamentary system of Utopia government adopts a flexible approach of the doctrine of separation of powers where the power of the government was separated into three branches which are the legislature, the executive and the judiciary bodies. According to Article 43.4 of Federal Tarabitya, Prime Minister Dewan Rakyat to dismiss the Prime Minister and his government by a vote of no confidence. Article 43 Clause 4 of the Federal Tarabitya provides that the Prime Minister and his government may be voted out of office. It means that the office or position of the Prime Minister and his government are not permanent. The Parliament has power to dismiss the Prime Minister and his government. The Prime Minister is a member of Dewan Rakyat elected to represent parliamentary constituency. He is appointed by Yang Dipertua Agong under Article 43.2 of Federal Tarabitya that he commands the confidence of the majority of the members of Dewan Rakyat. Article 55 Clause 2 of the Federal Tarabitya permits the Prime Minister to advise the Yang Dipertuan Agong to dissolve Parliament prematurely. Under Article 40 Clause 2b, the Yang Dipertuan Agong is not bound by this advice, though conventionally, he does not disregard it. In parliamentary systems, all cabinet posts must be filled by members of parliaments. The most positive feature of parliamentary systems of government is that it produces strong and effective government. However, the flaw of the system is that the executive tends to capture the legislative process to debates and motion allow members of parliaments to have their say in the end. Another drawback of this practice can be seen where the parliamentary proceeding is disrupted with the absence of many members of parliament which are having commitment in their own ministries. Pre-parliamentary stage. The first stage is proposal. It may come from various sources, for example, election manifesto of winning political party, policy decision, and etc. Second stage, consultation. A long series of discussion followed within and between the relevant government authorities. Expert and interested parties may also be consulted. Third stage is draft proposal is sent to the parliamentary draft person in the attorney general's chamber to be put into legal language and form. The proposal then will become bill. First reading. In the first reading process, the short title will be read. It is mere formality process and may take place even the bill is not printed and distributed. Second reading. The second reading process will only start once the bill is printed and distributed. The long title and the outline of the principal bill will be read. Also, Debate on the general principle of the bill and voting session will be had in this process. Committee stage The House will be dissolved into a committee. The voting process is over. The Council will reconvene as a committee meeting. The bill will be discussed in more detail and amended if necessary. Once done, the report will be submitted to the House and if accepted, the House will resume seating. Once the bill has been discussed and agreed at a committee meeting, the bill will be read for the third time for approval. After the report is examined, the committee meeting and the matters that have been raised by the following honorable members, then the problem will be raised. The bill will be read a third time and passed. Members who agree should say that they agree, and those who disagree should say that they disagree. When more people agree than those who disagree, then the bill will be read for the third time. Third reading. The bill will be read and reviewed with amendments. No debate is allowed except for the technical matters with permission of the speaker. Then, this process will be continued with the voting process. Other House The speaker will declare the bill passed in the House of Representatives. Further matters will be discussed in the Senate. Oriel Assent Pray be seated. La Lieutenant Governor sanctions ses projets de loi. Gazette. But the law might not apply yet. Sometimes the government needs time to get ready for the new law. For example, to inform the public. The law may include a start date or it can be announced later.